Hey, my name's John with thepinetree.net, and I have the great pleasure being here with Jeff Scott. Hi. Now, this is kind of a cool thing. They have a new idea that they're going to talk about in a second. This is where it's Scott's Distributing and Angel's Camp. And tell us a little bit about Scott's Distributing. Well, we've been in business for 10 years. Okay. Uh, we distribute locally to the Calaveras, Amador, and Tuolumne counties. Okay. Uh, mostly concentrating on restaurants, uh, convenience stores, uh, hotel supplies, that sort of thing. Now you, now, you guys have a whole warehouse full of stuff here, huh? Yes, we do. We are a working warehouse. <laughs> now, the idea was, is kind of the big box uh, theme, right? Correct. Well, we wanted to open up our warehouse. A lot of people, have, we've gotten some feedback saying that uh, people are tired of going to Costco. Right. And they didn't realize that we carried this much stuff. You guys have all kinds of stuff. I mean, everything from... Everything from chips to, I mean, look, here's a whole thing. Of, here's a whole strip of beef jerky. I mean, it's you guys got Glass all kinds. Cleaner, of, everything. Everything. Now, if you're thinking, well, I mean, what kind of big boxes because they have here locally? Costco has nothing on them. For example, toilet paper, 100 rolls, almost 96 rolls. 96 rolls, yeah. Now, what is 96 rolls run? Forty-five dollars a case, so less than fifty cents a roll. And this is probably pretty good quality stuff. Excellent too, quality, it? yeah. You, this isn't a name brand you'd see out in the store, but it's the quality of those name brands. Right, see. right. Chris, now remember, toilet paper. Now, what other kind of stuff do you guys? We had jerky, we had toilet paper, we had uh, anything, any kind of janitorial okay. supplies, uh, snack foods, potato snack chips. Foods. Uh, these are sold at uh, wholesale prices. Uh, beef sticks. We have. Paper towels, uh, glass cleaner, we have uh, chapstick, um, dish soap, um, all this stuff is a, a great price. Like, for example, this dish soap, we sell this gallon at $5.29 for a whole, whole gallon of dish soap. Um, this glass cleaner, a gallon of it is $4.61. Um, you know, stuff you, you can't find this, these kind of prices at the regular store. Since this is local version of late night TV, That's you right. have OxyClean, right? Oxy you even have OxyClean. Uh, $25, <laughs> you know. OxyClean, 40, 40 pounds of uh, laundry soap. Here we uh, go. Commercial grade laundry commercial soap. Commercial grade laundry soap. Uh, $25. For so 40 pounds. For 40 pounds. Wow. Yeah. So, really good deals. Now, what's the what's the plan then? You're going to open up one day a week? Is that the... Yeah, we're going to open up on Wednesdays. Okay. Uh, Public's welcome to come in, even if you know if you just want to come see what we have. That's just fine. You know, just come take a look. Uh, people like to come in. Most of our customers uh, that come to us, uh, they really like to come in our warehouse and just look around because you never know what you're going right. to find in there. Right. Now, this business, I guess, is, is you guys have grown. Is it basically been almost... Um, you were talking when we met last week. Is it a customer request business almost isn't that type pretty of much. the way you've grown yeah if you come down and take a look like i said we're a working warehouse mm -hmm. everything that you see in this warehouse at one point someone has requested from us got it so the more requests we get the bigger we get so you were started off primarily as coffee is that yeah. how you got started yeah we started out doing um office coffee service okay and then uh, from that point someone asked us hey can you carry say can liners right uh, next thing you know, we're carrying dish soap and you know beef jerky and whatnot. So got it. It's uh, it's come a long ways in ten years from just going out of uh, a Ford Ranger pickup truck to actually you know having our facilities here. Right. And uh, looking forward to opening up. Now, what's the uh, what's the first day you guys are going to run? What's the October first, Wednesday, October first. Remember we're that day. We're going to do every Wednesday starting October first. We're going to open it up from nine to three. Okay. Nine in the morning till three in the afternoon. Uh, so just come on down and take a look. Very cool. Thank you very All much. Right. Thanks, John. Thank you.